Hey guys, Clovis here. I am an AR creator based on Brazil and today I will show you a 2D transform pack subgraph that I did inside the factory house following some other game engine tutorials and it's very useful when you can when you want to translate uh, rotate and scale your texture inside the custom material feature launched in 2.5.0 version of effect house so let's let's start from the beginning let's say you want to add a png inside a plane so let's create a plane here we have already our plane and create we have to create a custom material empty material and you have to attach this custom material to the plane okay let's see if it's working okay it's working so you have to get the simple texture 2d node and attach the texture i i got this texture this render texture here and you have to get the texture cord and attach the png to that to that plane okay it's working uh, the only thing you have to do is go to the material render state set settings and set to transparent in, in blend mode okay now you have your transparent texture but let's say you want to translate on the x axis so you have already some ways to do with uh, without using external uh, files in Effect House. You have the pan node and you have the rotator node. I just know these two. If you know more, uh, comment in this, the comment section. But if you connect the coordinate to to this, nothing happens because you have to change some values here so I will get the timer just to attach to the time here and the speed I will set to 2 okay you can see is rotation but you can see there is that that is kind of repeated on, on the corners of this plane you can see good actually but you you will see now using the panel node okay i have the rotator to rotate and the panel to translate so let's connect also the time and the speed in the x position so yeah you have this problem here right especially with the panel like sometimes you just uh, want to translate a little bit your your texture and this thing happens okay but why this thing happens why, why is repeating uh, the answer is I really don't know and this is not because my texture is set to is set it to clamp is is on repeat like you can use whatever it won't work if you select uh, the clamp repeat or whatever it's kind of this this little note here kind of forces you to repeat your texture i don't know why if this is a bug or a feature this can be useful in a lot of situations but in some situations you just uh, want to translate without repeat so i created this this subgraph that i will show for you so you can import inside your material editor just go into this sandwich icon here so you can imp go to imported subgraphs and select your texture so select your subgraph that I, this file i will keep on my gunrove story for free so i consider donating but uh you can get for free i will keep the link below just to help our community and on, the only thing you have to do is connect the UV to the UV and the result to the UV on the sample texture 2D. So nothing happens because it is kind of resetted, but 
if you translate here you can translate now without using repeat and if I use repeat mode they will repeat but this time you have the choose like you can you can choose what you want to use the, the this subgraph doesn't forces you to to do it uh, in, you can open to study inside but it's, it's just some uh, mathematical stuff and yeah this is very useful I will keep the link below and you can do a lot of pretty good things you can also change the pivot like uh, if I put the pivot in the X axis on zero and and rotate for example degrees let's let's get a timing here and multiply by five just to be faster okay okay now we have our texture rotation I, I okay now the the pivot is kind of here because it, it's in, in y in y in is in the middle and then on the x axis is on this corner here so you can change the pivot like other programs other softwares the translation you can change a lot of things you want to do this is also very useful when you are using uh, example two textures and how how can you do it you just get the texture code and attach to the UV of this new texture. I got this background here, like, yeah. And you can do is you can do it using LERP. And you get the alpha and one minus. I think is that. Okay, let's lose that here. Okay. Now you have it and you can translate your texture like inside all the texture this is very useful especially if you are working with noises uh, or you just can't want to add two textures both like together so so I hope you like it guys this is a very useful tool the link of my gun road is I will keep the link below on the description and I will also uh, post this video on the discord of effect house and yeah that's it bye